I'm going to show you how to make this delicious, easy and gluten-free pizza dough. Let's go! So for this recipe you need 440 milliliters of water, 7 grams of dried yeast, 190 grams of rice flour, 40 grams of chickpea flour, 160 grams of potato starch, 110 grams of corn flour or corn starch if you live in the US, 14 grams of psyllium husk powder, 10 grams of salt and 30 grams of olive oil. Also, as usual, make sure you use a digital food scale, gluten-free baking is incredibly precise. It's a lot easier if you have a digital food scale. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to put your water in a big bowl, add the dried yeast, and then sprinkle just a little bit of sugar over it to activate the yeast. Leave this for five to ten minutes until the yeast is activated. So while you're waiting for the yeast to be activated, you can take another bowl and put all your flours in there. That's the rice flour, chickpea flour, potato starch, corn starch and psyllium husk powder and of course the salt as well. Put it all in a bowl and give it a good even mix. So after about five to ten minutes, as you can see, the yeast is activated. There's all these little bubbles, right? And you can add your 30 grams of olive oil. And once you've done that, you simply add your mix of gluten-free flours. And you're now going to give it all a really good mix. And there you go. Here is our pizza dough. We need now to let it rise just like we would with bread dough. So you need to put it in a nice warm, not too hot, just warm and humid environment. I simply put it in my cold oven with a bowl of boiling hot water. Leave it one to two hours until it rises. Let's do that. Let's go. And there you go. This is what the dough looks like after it's risen for a couple of hours. Now all you need to do is take some non-stick baking paper, flour it with a little bit of rice flour and we're going to spread our dough with a rolling pin. I actually use this quantity of dough for two pizzas so I divide it in two and I roll each one individually. It needs to be rolled quite thin that way it's nice and crispy. And there you go. Once you've rolled it out, you can simply add tomato sauce, mozzarella and put it into the oven. I bake it at 230 degrees right at the bottom of the oven because I like my dough to be really nice and crispy and I bake it for about 20 minutes. And there you go. Look at this. Isn't it beautiful? It's perfect. It's crispy. You can hold it like that. It's just absolutely delicious. Mmm. It is so nice. Honestly, it's a winner every week when I make it. I hope you enjoyed this video as usual. If you have any questions, post them in the comments below. And if you have a special request for a gluten-free video, just let me know also in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, I bet you'll enjoy this one next. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.